Good morning, everyone. I've been asked to uh, open the conference, so uh, my name is uh, Enrique Lavernia, and I serve as the provost and executive vice chancellor here at the UCI campus. And I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the staff, the students, and the faculty to welcome you, uh, welcome you back in many cases uh, this morning. So this is the 26th annual um, healthcare podcast conference at the Paul Mirage School of Business. And we're here to discuss healthcare politics under, uh, and policies under a new presidency. And we've seen so far that this is a rather interesting time. <laughs> interesting uh, use of the word interesting. We've seen a presidency focused on immigration, uh, the Supreme Court, in national security, so we're all holding our breath to see what healthcare policies um, are going to be like. There's at least three big healthcare issues that this new president and Congress are going to be dealing with resolving the future of the Affordable Care Act, national health spending, both at the private, state, local, and federal levels, and the Medicare program. How do you ensure the viability of uh, that program uh, for the future, particularly in light of the rapidly aging population? That doesn't include uh, any of us here at Irvine. We don't age at Irvine, I want you to know. <laughs> now, these issues are complex, as I'm sure you all know, uh, certainly better than I do, because the American system of uh, delivering health care is complex. And at UCI, we're watching this debate and uh, anxiously seeing what's developing. It's particularly important to us because over a third of our revenues come, uh, comes from our hospital system. UCI is a $2.6 billion operation and healthcare is at the center of its, uh, of its core. Um, we, got, we are focused on some key areas here at the campus. Um, discovery, the UC Irvine School of Medicine is one of the top US medical schools and We've got great ambitions for its growth and its strategic location um, here in Orange County. Furthering the excellence of uh, education, uh, we have about 400 medical students here at UCI and about 100 students who are pursuing PhDs in healthcare areas, so education is important. And we're the only um, healthcare provider in Orange County, a county of three million people and the sixth largest county in the country, so we're well placed. And finally, uh, fulfilling our commitment to health care um, and providing health care to the underserved community. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but UC Irvine has more Pell eligible students than the entire Ivy League combined. Think about it. Right here at this campus, we have more Pell eligible students than all of the Ivy League. So, as we address the challenges and concerns uh, facing the nation's healthcare system, um, I'm optimistic that discoveries and the energy put in uh, policy and science um, will help us prepare for the future and uh, do better in terms of patient care and uh, teaching. So again, welcome. It's now my privilege to introduce you to our great dean of the Paul Mirage School of Business, um, Eric Spannenberg. Um, Eric has been a pleasure to work with as one of our 12 deans, um, always collaborative and always creative, uh, it's certainly um, an enjoyable partner in growing this enterprise, so Eric. All right, thank you. Thank you. There we go, that's the one that's working. Thank you, Provost Lavernia, and, uh, and welcome everybody, good morning, all right. Responsive, responsive. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, you got to wake up like I do. I'm not going to wake up if you don't help me. Okay. So, uh, you know, I, it really is. It, it's a great to welcome you to the 26th annual uh, Healthcare Forecast Conference. And to think uh, the, that the the Mirage School wasn't named the Mirage School, and the the uh, the center wasn't exactly the same thing as it is today. And uh, actually, the conference beginning in 1992. I, I kind of look back and I was reminded that this was like the year before Hillary Care was talked about, right? Do you remember Hillary Care? Some people are shaking their heads, so I know you're as old as I am at least, all right? And, and, uh, and you know, we didn't, we, it was, she, was, uh, she was charged with accomplishing health care reform 
in that first hundred days of President Clinton. So I'm kind of thinking back to a friendlier time is all right now. But um, <laughs> that first hundred days, the good, the good hundred days, I don't know, maybe they weren't any better, but they were different for sure. Um, we, that didn't happen and we didn't get it squared away then, and we're still working on it now. We've worked on it for a few administrations, and so we've still got some work to do. And many of you have been in your careers all that time, and you've watched it, and you've responded, and you're working on it, and I just think it's, it must be fascinating for you to, to watch this, and I think conferences like this, and then specifically this conference over the years has followed and worked with these kinds of things, and I, 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 I'm a little bit envious when you get to, to have the longevity and seeing how these things kind of play out, but uh, it's, it's great. Um, to be able to do this once again this year and talk about about trends and what's happening and so forth and and uh, and forecast what might happen and I think it's really going to be uh, interesting to follow the forecast from here forward as well. The conference really what I'm here to do a couple of things. I'm going to introduce somebody of course, but uh, I want to say thank you. It wouldn't be possible without the support of some really important people and organizations. And a lot of the sponsors have been supporting us for almost the entire life of the event. And I think we're going to queue up some folks that we want to say thank you to, right? There we go. Okay, so um, will those in the audience that are from these sponsoring uh, organizations please stand up? Thank you. So thank you. We really want to. We want to be. We really want to be uh, cognizant. Oh, so now, if the, and then there's a couple of slides. So if you didn't get thanked, let's thank them again, okay? <laughs> but uh, but we we uh, we really do want to say thank you because this, the conference wouldn't be possible without that sponsorship. And that's one of the things that that uh, that Margaret Wong and Margaret Wong has works hard to to gather these sponsors and continue to engage these sponsors. And let's say thank you to Margaret for organizing. <laughs> Probably went off script there. She probably never puts anything that says thank you to me in the script, right? So I'm looking at a few notes and then I add things in and that's one thing I never want to forget to add. She's really the backbone of this conference and we're really grateful for Margaret. We do have also an unparalleled line of, lineup of speakers and we have speakers uh, that have been many coming back for many years. And so um, I'm told that the winner for the most number of years is Jim Glassman, senior economist and managing <laughs> director at J.P. Morgan Chase. So Jim, 21 years and we've got a, uh, we actually have a record of everything you've forecast for those 21 years. And we're, <laughs> so we're going to spend most of tomorrow is going to be telling you where you got it wrong and right. And so um, I, I can't back that up. but. Okay, and, and last but not least, I want to thank all of you who are attending. So those of you in this room, and we have an overflow room, I saw f folks uh, uh, filing in there as well, and, and I just want to say, you know, th thank you for being here. That's part of what makes this really valuable is the networking and the opportunity to get together with one another at the breaks and so forth. And so, um, you know, thanks for making this a part of your, uh, a part of your professional year, okay? It's really, it's fun for all of us and it's informative and, and we hope that you find it helpful this, this year as you have in the past. You continue to come back and so we're confident that this year will be great. And I've also been asked to uh, spend a couple of minutes uh, just reporting on some recent news for the Mirage School. And uh, so one of the things, and I I'm gonna try and keep this brief to the things that might be most relevant to you folks. The Mirage School's MD-MBA program was recognized by Becker's Hospital Review as a program to know for physicians seeking additional management and business education. And I saw some of our MD-MBA students this morning got to say hi to one of them. And so we're proud of that program and we, uh, we would encourage you to continue to uh, mention that to the, to the MD students that you know to consider that moving forward. And I, I'm told that this year's applications are way up. And so the word, uh, word is on the street and we're doing uh, all that we can to accommodate as many of those students as we can. The new Master of Finance program will be underway fall 2017. That's a one-year specialized master's degree and we're excited about that. The Orange County Register mentioned it in a story that ran last month, you might have seen it. So it is an actual thing, it's happening and we're excited. We've got a lot of applications already just in a month 
And then yesterday we got the news that we're a master of science in business analytics will start and we're recruiting for a class to start this summer 2017. And that may be relevant for some folks in your industry. You might know some people who are business analytics. It's a one-year program that it would be useful because increasingly we're seeing this become part of every industry. And it's, a, and it's a central to the Mirage School's uh, strategic objectives moving forward. I'm also pleased, oh no, that was something about me and I don't want to say that, okay. Uh, you get to these bullets, you go, oh, wait a second, you know, okay. Yeah, um, anyway, um, yeah, and then uh, we also, we have a distinguished speaker series and on a regular basis. We bring in folks that many of you uh, are aware of. David Pyatt, uh, former CEO of Allergan, is going to speak for the Mirage School on March 9th, if you want to put that down on your, uh, on your, um, on your to-do list. I think you'll be uh, inter interested in hearing what David has to say. And he, I've heard him speak on, on different occasions and the story uh, coming straight from him is that kind of interesting. And there is actually, tr truly, I guess there's even talk of him uh, having a movie made about this whole thing that he went through. So not him making it, but somebody wants to make it about him. He's, not, he's not doing it, not do it himself, movie or something. And then, uh, and then we actually, March 10th, we have classes, and this is something that might be uh, of interest to many of you, a new certificate in leadership for health transformation, March 10th, the Mirage School, that uh, the classes will begin for that certificate program. So go ahead and, and, and give that some thought, or if you know people who might be interested, have them contact any one of us at the Mirage School and we can uh, help you plan for that or help others plan for that. And then the final thing, I, I do not want to leave without letting you know, April 17th, the Mirage School is going to have a, a golf tournament and it's uh, at Mission Viejo Country Club and uh, a golf club. And so if you're uh, looking for a, an opportunity to network, we already have uh, about half the field filled, but we've got opportunities for others to join us. We're welcoming foursomes. We're also welcoming sponsorships. So uh, I, I didn't want to get out of here without that opportunity. Now, okay, so that's all the updates on the Mirage School. Uh, and I, my next thing I have to do is I need to introduce Dr. Paul Feldstein. And he asked me to be brief, but in being brief about Paul, you still have a lot to say. So I even had to cut it down a little bit um, from what probably many of us would, would normally say. And so I don't want you to think I'm shortchanging him. This is at his request. But Paul is Professor Emeritus and Robert Gumbiner Chair in Healthcare Management at the Paul Mirage School of Business, University of California, Irvine, since 1987. Okay, so. Um, and I won't talk about his previous positions, but I'll just mention that Paul has written over 70 articles on healthcare. He's written multiple books. And usually when I make an introduction like this, most of the people in the audience have actually used his book or had his book in one of their classes. And I'm seeing a lot of heads nod. So one of his books, an economic healthcare perspective on uh, uh, health Policy Issues, an Economic Perspective on Health Reform, 6th edition, was published in 2015. And then he has some other books here, but since he asked me to be brief, I won't go into them all. But I know that you're familiar with his writing. Uh, during several leaves from the university, uh, Dr. Feldstein worked at the Office of Management and Budget, Social Security Administration, and the World Health Organization, among many other consulting and uh, expert witness kinds of, of, of engagements. And so I think really uh, that's, that gives you just a little bit of a flavor of the kind of impact that Paul has had in, in the world of healthcare and healthcare economics. And uh, with that, I'm going to introduce you and I'm gonna, I'm gonna in, invite you to enjoy yourselves and learn a lot over the next couple of days. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm the third and last welcome uh, to you, uh, but I want to welcome, <clears throat> welcome you also to the 26th com uh, annual conference. Uh, it's been uh, 26 years since I've been working with Margaret Wong on the conference. I think she's ready for another 26 years. Uh, unless there's some mir miraculous medical innovations, I might be around here for then, uh, but I'm not sure. But uh, um, Welcome, and uh, also want to welcome the people in the overflow room also. Um, I want to thank uh, all of the sponsors, as the dean has mentioned, and uh, thank a lot of the speakers and all of you for coming. I understand for the speakers, uh, some of you from Washington 
are leaving warmer climate to come here. Uh, it, I think it's 70, I think it's supposed to be 74 degrees in Washington, D.C. Um, so I'll just make uh, one announcement and a couple of housekeeping details and we'll get started. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> the recruiting for the Healthcare Executive MBA program for the fall, it's a two-year program for physicians and other healthcare professionals. And uh, in these very challenging times, it's, uh, it's good to have an MBA and uh, the courses you take at the Mirage School to sort of uh, set you up for the next, what's going to happen in healthcare, if anybody knows. And uh, so uh, if you want more information, uh, there's a booth out in the lobby. Uh, for housekeeping details, uh, you're supposed to wear your conference badge to the lunches and the, the conference. Uh, you, when um, you, you want to ask a question to one of the speakers, please wait to uh, get a cordless microphone because we're recording everything and so this way you'll be recorded. Uh, the conference is being accredited for various uh, 11 physician CMEs, 11 nurse CEUs, and 10 Department of Insurance CEUs. So be very sure to sign the proper forms uh, for your accreditation at the registration desk. Uh, and then there's a conference evaluation form in the booklet. Please fill that out at the end. Uh, we really appreciate it and look, at, and look at your ideas and suggestions for next year. And then there are two new things. Uh, one is uh, how many of you have the, downloaded the app for the conference? Okay, oh, very good. For the, how many haven't? For those, who, for those who haven't and were like me, go see Kyle. Out, he's the student outside uh, during the break and he'll help you download the app uh, so you can get all the speaker presentations. We're being green this year and not using any uh, paper. Uh, the other thing is that we're also on social media this year, so you're welcome to make comments about the conference it's at uh, hashtag UCI Mirage HCC. And uh, so uh, you can learn more about that outside too. Uh, so today we have a very exciting uh, day to find out what's happening, if the experts actually know. And so we usually start off with our uh, health uh, forecast of the economy and also of the health sector. And our moderator for that is Marie Jacobson who's a professor in the Paul Mirage School of Business. Murray is also director of the Center for Healthcare Management at the School of Business. And so uh, I welcome Murray and the uh, speakers to please come up here. Thank you.